Hey, good evening. It's Dan. I'm going to walk you through some storms that happened on the 2nd of January. This is last night, 2nd of January, about 7.30 at night uh, through so southeastern Alabama and the Florida Panhandle. These specific storms cost five folks their lives, one due to a flash flood, four due to strong winds and the associated uh, tornado with it. This uh, specific line of storm in question is what we would call a derecho or a bow echo. Uh, very, very strong winds associated with it, and it starts to take on this bowing pattern. We can see the storm reports behind it for those very strong winds. The warm front to this uh, overall storm, the warm front is a little bit to the north of the area. The cold front is uh, just to the west of the area. So this is a prime area to see derechos and to see uh, very, very strong storms. The reason being is the warm front is a source of moisture uh, that will fuel these storms. Uh, the cold front is a source of instability that will destabilize the atmosphere and send that moisture high into the sky. Uh, when, you, uh, when you see something in between the two, when you see storms in between the two, uh, they tend to be somewhat violent, and this is exactly what we noted. Now, this specific storm, this uh, specific uh, direct show, uh, as, we can, as we progress through time, and what I'm about to show you happens uh, all in about a half hour so it'll show you actually how quickly this uh, storm band is moving as we move through time you can see this specific storm actually start to take on a, a, a curly cue almost like a, a hook uh, what we call a hook echo and that's why the National Weather Service issued a, a tornado warning through that area now specifically in Rehoboth there are four lives lost in a uh, mobile home out over that direction uh, and we can see that's right where this base uh, reflectivity image shows that very, very strong hook and that rotation. Uh, specifically speaking of rotation, the best product to use uh, is the uh, storm relative velocity, which is over here on the right where my mouse is now. Uh, I use this differently than base velocity uh, for the reason being that storm relative velocity is calibrated to cancel out the normal progression of thunderstorms. Uh, and specifically isolate the rotation within those thunderstorms. And so that's what I'm looking at uh, for a specific uh, rotation for that would be capable of producing a tornado. So we happen to see right over Rehoboth, we see if we uh, look over at our uh, legend here on the left hand side these tan colors over Rehoboth uh, those correspond with very strong winds 70 to 80 knots or so the green colors uh, correspond with uh, in the opposite direction 30 40 knots or so the red colors opposite of the green 30 40 knots or so and so we see these very very strong winds uh, flowing in opposite directions that would start to worry us for tornadoes especially since one was already observed just down the road so it looks like that tornado could still be alive as it's moving over Rehoboth. Uh, sure enough, as we move through a couple more, right exactly where we saw that uh, couplet, oh, now we see these two storm reports come out uh, for uh, tornado damage and unfortunately for fatalities. So interesting weather phenomena. Uh, I thought I would share it. It's, it's uh, extremely unfortunate uh, that, that people lost their lives in these storms. That, that's what happens. Uh, but my thoughts and prayers are, are certainly with them and their families. This is just one of those uh, one of those storms that you can see in the matter of about 30 minutes how dangerous these storms can become uh, and how and how quickly they can they can form and then move out of the area uh, and how and why it's just so important to uh, to keep a close eye uh, on these storms as they as they get close to you and uh, your friends and your loved ones.